The stillness of the Proving Grounds has been shattered by the coming of war. The first generals have shed blood in the Crucible, but the coming conflict has only just begun. In our first outing, the Nords led their raiding parties against the first hunting groups of the Wadroon advance. The Northmen were ultimately driven back, their numbers battered to nothing by the Wadroon assault. Yet this was little more than the opening engagement for what is to come. Today, the forces of the Spires have shambled forth to stake their own claim in the Proving Grounds, but opposing this ancient race is the Dwegum Hold. Led by their ray, they are set on slaughtering these interlopers in the name of Ogham. Coming up next, the Spires and the Dwegum cross blades for the first time. Welcome back to the Saga of Seven Champions, Episode 2. Our table for today consists of two objectives, controlled by units moving within four and a half inches of them. Each objective will score one point for the player that holds it at the end of the turn. Furthermore, wiping your opponent's army out entirely will net an instant victory as they are driven from the field of battle. The Dwegom are going to be bringing one character today in the form of the Hold Ray. He is going to be from the Ardent Creed, and he is going to have Drake Brood for his Relic and a Retinue of Tactical One. He's going to be joined by six stands of Hold Thanes. They have a Standard Bearer and a Herald of Stone. Then he is going to have four Fire Forged as a support unit with Standard Bearer and Flamecaster. And finally, he is going to have three stands of Initiates that also have a Standard Bearer. We will be looking at Put Hut's Spires list that he will be bringing today. This list is led by a high clone executor in the Warlord slot. He has coordinated assault for his supremacy ability, and then he has adaptive evolution for a mutation, and then tactic one for tactics, and tactical one retinue. He is going to be joined by a maxed out warband. He has five stands of Vanguard clones that have a standard bearer and an assault preceptor. He has five stands of bound clones that have a standard bearer and a ward preceptor. He has three stands of marksman clones and he has finished off with four brute drones. So first turn, neither one of us have any uh, light regiments. So it's an automatic to turn two. I'm going to bring in my Vanguard clones automatically, and I have three other medium regiments. I have two regiments that are coming in. My initiates are going to come in automatically. Go ahead. Roll for your other regiment. And they are good. Then I get two of my other regiments. You have less cards than me. Yes. Five. Cool. How clone executor go? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you've gotten used to this. Oh, yeah. I kind of figured that was going to happen. Initiates. And they're not magnetized yet, so have fun with that. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Here you go. Bound clones. Back to you. Fireforged. Alright, I'm, I'm done. Here you go, sir. Marksman clones. A Q. I'm I'm done. I don't have any more cards. Vanguard clones. I forgot they move fast. Damn. Yep, they actually have Vanguard now, so. Mm -hmm. Just be glad they're not infiltrators. True. True. Uh, the Vanguard gives them an extra move. That's it for me. That's it for me. So I got one medium to roll for. I got one heavy, but I'm gonna have him come on automatically. So my brute drones are my only regiment. They're gonna automatically come on. My thanes are the only one that are in, so they're gonna come on as well. I believe I'm going to have, you're gonna have advantage until I lose a regiment. Mm. 
You first. Yes. Initiates. Your turn. High clone executor. Uh, due to adaptive evolution, I'm going to buff my clash up to four. Fireforge. Your turn, sir. Next activation are my brute drones. Back to you. Things. Your turn. Oh. My next activation are my bound clones. Back to you. I'm not in range of that objective yet. Hold Ray. Your turn, sir. Vanguard clones. I'm only going to move a few inches forward. Okay. And then pivot. And you're out of cards, correct? Yes. Then my marksman clones. So close. But yeah, so far. And they're going to volley. Needing twos. No armor piercing or anything. That's four dice I've got. You said eight. Yep. Okay. One minute. Wow. Four. But, uh, that's me. So. I am in range of that objective marker over there, so that'll give me one point to your zero at the end of turn three. You still have advantage. Six. I'm going to drop it down to five so we can... Two. You win. Fire forged. And they are going to hit your bound clones. Not shoot. from that far away, they ain't. Mm -hmm. They can't hit me. They're going to shoot you. <laughs> Ten. Uh, armor piercing two, correct? Correct. And you're shooting my bound clones, yes. right? Correct. Something I just thought about. Hmm. Part of them would have been in my side, part in the front. You, go ahead and roll. So, randomize where the hits came from. So, you're rolling your fives and sixes. Keep your rolling fives and sixes. He's already got max hits from that stand. So, does that work for you? I think yeah. that's, I think that's random, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so four would be in your flank. So four at two, <clears throat> defense three, one, evade one. And then the rest are on evade one. I don't know why I even worried about <laughs> all that. I believe that is two stands and a wound. High clone executor, I'm gonna buff my defense to three. Next are initiates. Didn't mean to move it back. If I measured right, you'd have to move and charge. I have to move and charge. Yeah. Yeah, so, so if you roll the two. 
I'd have to roll. A, I'd have to move you and have roll a two, and then roll a two. Okay. Which you wouldn't get a five, but you lock but, into combat. All right, I'm gonna. I am gonna move and charge. I got a three. Three. So I'm good. So you touching me? I'm trying not to. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> I thought you were gonna shake every one of them off mm -hmm. when you did that. That's as close as I can get to you. I got the thing in charge and then it's gonna be a pain. But, okay. My go? Yep, that's all I can do. Because I moved and charged. Brute drones. That's what I figured. Which they're in my front arc. Mm hmm. I would need a two to charge. Okay. It got hurt. Oh, I got a two. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. So I need twos on these. Three. Would flurry work? No. I didn't think so, but wanted to check. Three, uh, would it be de defense three? Uh, what's their normal defense? Three. Yeah, so it'd be three. They're good. Clashing. Need threes or less on these. Dang. Three. Flurry. You do Thank have you. flurry. <laughs> that, that's a lot better. That's better. Eleven. <laughs> you went from three to eleven <laughs> on flurry. And then <sighs> still at defense three. Uh, yes. And then resolve. Mm -hmm. It's three. And normally you would have to reroll successes, but since you have iron discipline, you do not. So nine, nine all together. One is gone. Things. That didn't even almost break them. Yeah, I say almost broke because it's playing hard and creepy. Right. So rather than being broken, they're almost broken. Thanks that for uh, rubbing. So that, <laughs> so that almost, almost broke them. You didn't want to try to charge? My go. Yep. Bound clones. They're going to uh, inspire and clash. Okay. Needing threes. Yeah, threes. Seven. Defense. Four. Defense four. Yep. Okay. One. Nope, that one's gone. So, two. Just remember that saying it has to stay till the end. Yep. They're your... So it would have to be this one. Yep. yep. And then this Dan, because you went first, would push to me. Correct? Well, he's already engaged, so you would push to him. Okay. Hold Ray. Back to me? Yep. And you're out of cards, correct? Yep. Marksman clones? They're going to take aim and volley at the thing. Yeah, the things. I'll just make sure. Five oh. into your flank. Uh, needing threes because I took aim. Four. So one. Oh, I don't roll for. That's correct. One. When he faces uh, slingers, he's going to be so confused. Yep. <laughs> Five. At your front. Those would be fives. Yes. They're good. Things are tasty. And my last activation, my Vanguard clones, they're going to try and charge. I do believe that'll get them there. I think you're like seven and a half. So yeah. yeah. So that'll get them there. Uh, 
I'm going to throw my High Clone Executor's attacks first. He is needing fours, but I get to reroll sixes because he's inspired. Four at cleave one. Was there hard and dry? Uh, yeah, I believe so. So it'd be fours. Well, no, it'd still be fives if you're hardened. Yeah, they're okay. hardened. Yeah, so you ignore the negative one to your armor. Okay. So two. I got two sixes. Okay. So two. Kicker. Do better. The whole brace right. was all five. Oh, okay. And then my Vanguard clones. After all these, uh, separate because my command stand, because I have an assault preceptor. I get an extra attack and they reroll any failed to hit. Okay. They are needing threes. Dang. Five from them, which you can roll all these together if it okay. suits your fancy. I'll, I'll just, I'll wait. Needing threes again. Yeah. Ten total. That was a lot of misses. Yeah. Ten. Mm. One more. So two. See, Eric, this is what I've been telling you things are supposed to do. <laughs> Mine just don't know what to do. <laughs> That's it for me. Now you do have... I have that objective. I think you've got that one with both of yours. Because I'm. I, I have know. more stands within four and a half there. So that one is mine as well. Okay. I still have advantage. You still have advantage. Dang it. I got so used to saying. Six, you got it. One. So, activated my supremacy. I get to activate three regiments. Yep. Bound clones. They are going to inspire and clash. Needing threes. Five. Yeah, you got it. If they had tied my brute drones up for another turn, that'd have been a little rough. For me. Next activation, Vanguard clones. They're going to inspire Clash. I'm gonna do the same thing, throw my high clone executor first. Uh, fours re-rolling sixes. Three. And it, there's no difference where you're hardened, so if you want me to roll everything. Yeah, I'll just let you do that. The command stand that rerolls to hit. Needing threes. Ticker. And the basic stands. Needing threes. Ticker. That's a little better. Nineteen. And you have not activated yet this turn, so you'll be on defense four. Because Bastion isn't active. Seven. Next activation, Marksman Clones. They're gonna take aim and volley at the Fireforged. Need threes. That was a two, I tipped it. Seven. With shields. Yep, four. 
Which no resolve because no, it's yep, ranged. No resolve, so one. Thanes are what I picked first. Um, and they gonna inspire and clash. God. Yeah. So five. Hat clay three. And I need. I need fours or less. But you inspired. So but five. You oh. don't go to fives. You reroll sixes. Fives okay. will still miss, but you get to reroll sixes. So three. Hat clay three. I'm on evade two. Save two of them. So one one. They are inspiring, clashing. Fifteen, right? So fourteen. My bad. You're good. And they are. And then he gets plus one attack for stand drop for the for, right. for the command stand. Okay. And they are. Clash four. Four or less. So Got twelve. Two. Twelve. Twelve. I right. cleave one. I managed to get two stands of them before they got me. Those other two stands would hit. Um, you said cleave one? Mm -hmm. I'm on two. Regardless. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, eight, nine. So I'll add two dice to this for. It was, it was just one. He only killed one. Mm -hmm. One die to that. Your, do your dodgy little boys avoided the axe. And then I'm resolve four for the high clone executor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that will break me. Uh, yeah, I have tactical yes. one, so I would have ignored one of those. One of those yeah. For all that's going to do next turn, they're probably going to wipe me. High clone executor. So, for uh, being drawn, he's going to buff his defense to four to counteract your ray as much as possible. And then for his action, he's going to rally. Fireforged. And I'm going to attack your root drones. Three. Seven. Defense one. Held all seven. Over to me. Yep. Last activation. Brute drones. And I have slightly over nine, so I'd need a four. They have unstoppable. I'm gonna go for it. So pivot, go in, pivot, and then impact attacks. I need twos. Two. Good. So there's one. Then my attacks. Needing threes, uh, but I have four. My turn? Yep. Okay. And this year's over gone. Whole thing. Do me. Nah. Got still it. hold that one. I'll yeah, hold that. I... You should still have that one? Yeah. Ooh. Four and a half inches. I don't know what I broke, but that didn't sound good. So, five. Yep. I'm ready. You have advantage. Hold things. 
they're going to inspire and clash. I figured you had done your hold ray to get a duel in. I mean, I could have, but I didn't think about it. He gets to swing his axe one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he really cares about, isn't it? I'm going to do the hold ray. Five and cleave three. Yeah, and they are. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I got one. One hit from the right. Uh, evade two. At least it killed somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, resolve check. He's good. good. Nine hits. Uh, evade two. Now you're dead. My high clone executor's attacks before he goes down, though. Kicker. Kicker. <laughs> Two. Man, you guys rolled a lot of sixes there. They're good. Am I go? Yep. Vanguard clones are dead. Brute drones. They're gonna inspire and clash. Needing threes. But they have flurry. Nine. Fireforge. And they are going to inspire and clash. This is where I was thinking threes. They have three attacks apiece. Oh, okay. I just put it together. Actually, you might want to double check me. I thought I was sure on the barrage, <laughs> so. <laughs> In my mind, they're still defense four plus shield. That's the those of them that I remember in dread. Yeah, they're three. Okay. I got something right about the joy tonight. <laughs> Six, hey, it's not seven, like I've never played them or anything. Eight. But it would be eight attacks, because one for the... Seven. One. Eight. eight. Because of that raise, yep. The three, of the, same direction as you. the three of us collectively have one set of rules in our head. <laughs> <laughs> one full set of rules. Four hits. Um, defense three. Two get through. And then resolve. I think they're four. I think there are. Yeah, resolve four with oblivious. So one. Next up, marksman clones. They're going to take aim and volley at the. They can't. Oh no, they can take aim. I forgot. I'm thinking of mine. And volley at the whole things. Make threes. Are they in. Before you do that, are they in range? Over how, there? How far is it? 24? 22. Okay. You're shooting your whole thing, but. Oh, yeah. my bad. I thought you said fire force. Fire force right now, unless he does arc and fire. Oh, okay. I was thinking of. He said fire force. My bad. I need threes. You just say things, right? Yes. Okay. Nine. Because collectively have, we have one complete set of rules and I figured it might go for spatial awareness too. Four. One. And that does it, so one. one. True that. Hooray. Nothing. 
High Clone Executor, Bound Clones. They are going to reform. And then March. And that is it for that turn. So I still hold this objective, which would make it six to zero. Or even, no advantage. Okay. Four. One. Here we go. First up, bound clones. I would need a four. I'm gonna go for it. Unstoppable because I have a banner. Sick. And they will need three. Seven. Which would be threes. Who's going to activate it yep. this turn? So four. And they're good. And you have to reroll all of those. Because he's in your flank. You have to essentially okay. reroll any successful resolve. Failed two, but you ignore one of those. I failed three. Well, he's resolved five, right? The hold rate? Yeah, the hold rate's resolved five. Fireforged. And they are going to inspire and clash. Six. Eight. And I need. Three. Four. Defense three. Three ones. Uh, resolve one. My go. Mm -hmm. Brute drones. Inspiring clash. Mm -hmm. Needing threes. But I have flurry. Five. So three. I think there was all, was all four. So I'm good on those. So three. One more. I can't take that one out. Hold things. What do I do? Just reform? Uh, and clash? You can, and since you're tactical one, you don't have to roll the resolve check for the reform. Okay. I'm just going to reform and face you. Does that sound correct to you, Eric? Yep. It probably wasn't a good idea. But they are going to clash. Because they can't inspire. Because they reformed. Eight. And then I forgot the whole race. So I'll do that after. Um, defense two, shields, bastion, and your cleave one. Correct? Yes. Yes. So, needing threes. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And then resolve check. Resolve two. They're gone. Damn. I don't even need the whole raise. 
Marksman clones, they're going to take aim and volley. The two in your flank, needing threes. Kicker, didn't matter. Six into your flank, which would be fours. I'm good. Then the one into your front. Four. Needing fives on those. One, got through. Hmm. Why can't my hold things ever do this? I told you. Hold Ray, here we go. Uh, I'm out of cards. Okay, that's it. And I don't think I am. You are. Oh, okay. I got one point. Oh, uh, six, two, one. <laughs> I have advantage now. <laughs> yeah. You have advantage, sir. Six, it didn't matter. Fruit drones. They're going to inspire and clash. Nadine three with flurry. Eight. Three. They're gone. You have been lying the heart on me, for sure. Back up to you, though. Yeah. They're going. Things. They're going to charge. I don't think I have a. You just need a four. And you got a banner. So, four. What'd you roll? You get a rear roll because you have a banner. Oh, okay. Nope. Didn't help. So you marked two inches forward. Yep. Right. And you don't turn or anything. It's nope. just straight forward. That puts him in a rough spot. It does. Because the well. Hold dry is to... at the well. I'll have to reform. Dang. My go. Yep. Still only two on your side art. Mm -hmm. They're going to uh, take aim and volley. These are into your side art. I need threes. Six. You would be needing force. Three. Yeah, force. Dang. Five. Dang. I think you finally chipped their shields out. Mm -hmm. The last stand. Needing threes. Three. I'm good. And that's it for me. Okay. That, okay. Hold Ray. That's it. I'm going to call it there because I don't see myself. Good game. Good game. Hut Hut and Star God came out of the gate swinging in an absolute bloodbath of a game. But in the end, the Spires were able to weather the monstrous carnage of the Hold Thanes to secure the win. Congratulations to both players on a hard-fought game, and to Stargod for quickly realizing that his initiates would have been better served by holding the line and waiting for the Spires to continue their approach. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to turn on notifications so you're informed when all of our content drops. To all of you who have already done so, we salute you. Your support is what keeps the Maelstrom going. That's it for today, but there are plenty more games to come in the first round of the Saga of Seven. 
Keep an eye out for the third installment when the Dwegom take to the field once more. This time, they face off against the Tower and the stalwart men of the Hundred Kingdoms. As always, thank you for spending time with us today at the Maelstrom.